Lawsuit Abuse. Fact or Fiction? The Constitution of the United States of America, a document written over 200 years ago to ensure freedom, justice, and the pursuit of happiness for millions of Americans today. But recent government actions and proposed legislation may take away your rights to justice in the U.S. court system. Hello, I'm Grace Hargis. Thanks for joining us for today's discussion of a very important subject facing Americans, lawsuit abuse. Is it a real problem? Or is it an attempt by big insurance companies to gain even more power in the court system? Joining the debate is our special guest who received his undergraduate degree from Michigan State University, his law degree from Thomas M. Cooley Law School in Lansing, Michigan. He's been a practicing lawyer for over 20 years. He's been a member of the American Trial Lawyers Association, the Texas Trial Lawyers Association, and the United States Federal Bar. This is a man who was named one of the best personal injury lawyers in Houston by Inside Houston Magazine and three times voted Law Firm of the Year. Please welcome Jim Walker. Mr. Walker, thanks for joining us today. Hi, Grace. Thanks for having me on your show and please just call me Jim. Okay, Jim, say hello to your judge and jury. Good morning, Your Honor. Hi, folks. How are you? They're here to make sure you feel comfortable today. Well, thank you. Thank you. Take a seat. I'm going to start the show by asking you a couple of questions. Then we're going to go to the streets of Houston and let the people ask you some questions. Okay. Might get a little rough. I hope I'm you up ready? to it. Okay. Thank you. Insurance companies and a lot of politicians say that people like you, trial lawyers, make a mess of the judicial system. What do you say to them? They couldn't be more wrong. There are fewer lawsuits filed today than ever before. Uh, in the last 10 years, there's fewer lawsuits filed. People, uh, lawyers don't file lawsuits anymore. First of all, it's expensive. Secondly, it's tough to beat those insurance companies in trial because they have, with their propaganda, influenced juries not to give out awards on claims. Here in Houston, we have a thing called the blue sheets. And quite often, the adjusters will tell me when I'm trying to get more money for a claim, well, Mr. Walker, you can file suit, but I gotta tell you, Juries here in Harris County aren't paying on claims. If you don't believe it, check out your blue sheets. Well, the blue sheets are a report as to the trial verdicts and, and the verdicts in Houston. And they're right. Those verdicts are down. And they're down because people are afraid on juries to give out awards because the insurance companies have convinced everyone that if you pay on a claim, your rates are going to go up because of it. That's right. Well, those rates are going to go up anyway. They're not paying, they're not charging higher premiums because, the, the, uh, because they're paying it out in claims. They're, they're raising rates because they can't. So you don't think there's any such thing as a frivolous lawsuit? If a lawsuit gets to trial, it's the real deal. Well, first of all, again, lawsuits are expensive for a lawyer to bring to trial. And a lawsuit can cost a lot of money, can cost a great deal of money. So not, uh, I, I, I don't know of any lawyer that's going to spend a lot of money to bring a lawsuit to trial that he can't win. Uh, judge, what, what do you do with a frivolous lawsuit? I would dismiss that on a summary judgment. Judgment for the defense. There you have it. That answers that question clearly. The judge will dismiss a lawsuit, a frivolous lawsuit. If you cannot put on a good case, it can be dismissed under sum summary judgment by the court which means you've wasted a great deal of money to get up there just to get shot down. So that's just something we hear that makes trial lawyers look bad, but it isn't Ex true. Exactly. There are checks and balances in our system, and they have been there for years, decades, hundreds of years, to prevent frivolous lawsuits from getting to court, and they're dismissed. Because you can't put on a case, the judge will dismiss the claim. It has to be a legitimate claim to get to a jury with it. So you say there are fewer lawsuits filed now than, than, than let's say, five years ago. For, for someone like me and people in the public, that's kind of hard to believe. It, it is hard to believe, and I'll tell you why. Because these political ads that you see portray long lines trying to get into the courthouse and snappy lawyers going around the line and getting in there, and that everybody's trying to get to a clogged courthouse and the frivolous lawsuits and the lawsuit abuse, the courts are overrun with claims. That's not true. That is simply not true. It's very easy to find out. Go downtown and look. Go to the courthouse and look for yourself. There are no long lines. 
that's again, again, political and insurance propaganda to make lawyers look bad and have someone to stand on top of and push down in order to get elected, in order to, in order to get elected and pay less on claims. It's, it's, a, it's a continuous promulgation of a lie. And, and it's not fair to the public. It's not fair, it's not fair to lawyers either. I, I'm tired of taking a black eye and, and for this frivolous lawsuit. There is no such thing. There, they, they, there are frivolous lawsuits, but they don't get filed. All right, he's just getting fired up. This is Texas trial attorney Jim Walker. We're talking about lawsuit abuse. Fact or fiction? More to come. Stay with us.